God bought life. Hallelujah. The blood bought life. Christianity is not about blood. If you remove blood from the Christian faith, it becomes a mere religion. It becomes worthless. Everything about the Christian faith is surrounded by the blood. So, the blood, the blood, the blood. So we can say the Christian faith is a bloody faith. It is the soldiers that are telling that they call us bloody severe. And I don't know who is bloody, the man who carried the who who killed, and the man who was not carried. They say we are bloody severe. But if someone tells you a bloody Christian, I said, because everything about our lives cannot sus be sustained without the blood. Let's start from it, um, Exodus chapter 12. When Israel was to be free from Egypt, they couldn't have been free without the blood. So many things happened in Egypt. So many signs and wonders through the hands of his servant Moses. A lot of plagues that God reigned upon the Egyptians. But yet, Pharaoh hardened his heart. Pharaoh hardened his heart. But God now told Moses, said, don't worry, I'm going to do a thing. This shall be the beginning of the month for you. I'm speaking to the life of someone this morning. This period of our fasting shall be the beginning of the month. It shall be a time of reference in your life, not only for this year, but for the years ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. And how would that be? God said, tell Israel. The Israelites, they should go and get a lamb. A, not more than a year old. Every home should get a lamb. And you are going to kill this lamb. You are going to roast it. You are going to eat it with unleavened bread. If a family cannot finish a whole small uh, lamb, let two families join together. Because the flesh must be finished. You must eat what you can finish. I mean, you must provide what you can finish. And so that, because tonight, I will pass through Egypt and add and use the blood of this animal to put on the lintel and the post of your house. So when I pass through the land of uh, Egypt, any house that does not have the mark of the blood, the angel of death will visit them. The angel of death will pay them a visit. And when death pay anybody a visit, you know that is the end of that life. That every firstborn shall die, either of human being or of animal. And when God was planning that a plot or that coup, God knew that Pharaoh as a son. You see, there is nothing that hits a man than when you lose your, the, the beginning of your strength. Nobody wants any of his children to die. But when you talk about the beginning of your strength, you have a great expectation on that girl or on that boy. And this is the boy that's supposed to ascend the throne after, after, after fearing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't forget that there was a fear. When Moses was still in the palace. But that Pharaoh did not have a son. It was a daughter, the Pharaoh had. And because Moses had been adopted by the princess. And he concluded that, okay, since the king does not have a son. 
human calculation. They did not know that this is as a destiny. Until that calculation was stabilized. This time around, the person that's supposed to ascend the throne, the first one also was part of the calculation. And that night, the Bible said there was cried throughout the very well that has been negotiating with them before. All right, if you want to go, don't go with your animals. If you want to go, don't go with your children. At the time, say, okay, if you want to go, you can go, but don't go far. But that night, they began to hate up Israel. Please, go, 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 go. So, it was the blood that delivered Israel from death. It was the blood that delivered Israel from bondage. It was the same blood that made a way for the escape. And so, they came out. And here, look at that instruction. Verse 7 of that chapter says, And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire, and on living bread, and with bitter hearts, they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head and his legs, and with the borderings thereof. Ye shall let nothing of it remain unto the money. Praise God. Look at verse 12 now. Look at verse 12. Sorry, 11 to 12. And thou shalt eat it. Ye eat it. With your loins guarded. Your shoes on your feet. And your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the last person. God was telling Israel, on your marks, set, you are going. Hallelujah. I can see somebody here, you are, you are going free this year. From this month, it shall be the beginning of months in your life. Get ready, something is about to happen. I can assure you, something is about to happen. Heaven is set for you. You see, he said, I have not told the house of Jacob to seek me in vain. In the seminar that I took in the morning, I was talking about prayer. Paul was encouraging Timothy. He said, first of all, supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. And I now explain what supplication is all about. If I just made little reference for those who are not here then, I said time of supplication is a time of begging. It's a time to plead. God said I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion. It is God that lifts a man. He takes a man from the dunghill and makes him to sit in the palace. That is God. You can't query him. If he show you mercy, it is. It is right. And if he decided to show another man mercy, the Bible says, who are thou that queries God? He said, Jacob, I love so I hate. You can't query me. That's the decision of the Almighty. That is the choice. May you come to the choice of God this year. May you be one of the people that heaven will say, I will have mercy upon you. And I can hear God say, I will have mercy upon you. God say, I will have compassion upon you. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. So when you are when you are supplicating, it's the time to beg God. I used to beg God. We beg God. Hallelujah. 
You see, all believers, they idol worshippers, they go to shrine to beg. That's and that is the idol that have no mouth to speak. That cannot help any man. But because, wait, because it is also power by the demons. And whatever they are asking from Satan at that time, so my Jesus will still take place. Something will still happen. Even if it does not last. But when you can't talk about the Almighty God, there are times you kneel down. Say, God, it is in your hand to make grace. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. If you bless me, O oh God, I will not be proud. I will use it for humanity. Oh, you can see my heart. That's the way I pray. Praise God. I tell God, look, you know my heart. You see my heart. You know that I will not be arrogant. If you lift me up, if you bless me, we're going to pray the prayer prayers tonight. We're going to pray today. If you cause my voice to be heard, and because God sees your heart, hello. Some people say, God bless me. Eh? I was saying that is why you separate between need and want. But give me up. Give me, give me that car. Ah, what car? Your intention is already wrong. Before you are buying that car, you should show off. That is what called worldliness. That means it is not to the glory of God. Anything you want to put out with. Amen. I said the money. Some people, the reason why help has not come their way. It is because they will see a fine car. You can't do like this. You will post this in the Facebook. They will ask you. Here, why don't you see what you First up, he said, So everybody, say, congratulations. Have you not seen such a thing? Ah, Jay, we should see it. To the people who are party, oh, I'm not shaking it, I'm not shaking it, I'm not shaking it. I want to congratulate him and want to teach him what he is. Because if there is somebody who is thinking of giving him 10,000 and like, ah, the level of this man has changed, let me keep my 10,000. If someone wants to introduce him to great, I say, ah, his level has changed. Because he was, because he was conscious of self, pride, arrogance, Ego is in the heart of man. And if you are not careful, your ego can destroy you. It can send helpers of destiny away from you. Because God sees your intention. And God bless you. If he blesses you, you know what you are going to do. Shout hallelujah. God said in his word. He said the poor shall only be in your midst. There is no way. Not everybody in the church will be rich. There will be people that will be poor. And when they are poor like that, they will get to heaven. If God give them money, they will go to heaven. Because, you know, the Yoruba says, when one man does, somebody does not have money. It is another man's character that <laughs> he exhibits. But when money comes, it's a level has changed. Uh, bro, we don't see you in the church. Oh, oh sorry, it's, it's a contract. You know, you know, you know, you know these days, uh, you know, God has answered our prayer. We are praying for you. Somebody that we should be praying for. He will tell you that we are praying for you. That God, uh, he said, you know, bro, you don't understand. Sister, you don't understand. When God answers your prayers, the way you have answered our prayers, it is then you know that you can't be seen in church every Sunday. You can't come to meet with us for what? When I have you know, you know, business meeting to do. God says they have a very good I told you here sometimes. We have, um, you know, an alumni who passed through Kuli many, many years ago in the 70s. Maybe after that went to other institutions. Now, is a silence rich multi-millionaire in this country? 
Maduka is his name. He is the one that has our own social resources. He is the sole distributor of uh, BMW and the Range Ray Rover. New, brand new is He has a lot of factory, but so he, he rice factory sometimes, you know, you know in, the, in the east, that all the about five governors of the east, they have to be, they have to be there. What did you put on Facebook? Brother Luka rolled his shirt, he was doing street evangelism. Praise God. You see him preaching, somebody is interpreting for him, sweating in the sun. That is a Christian. Being a rich man has not changed his Christian lifestyle. Doing street meeting, doing, using megaphone to preach on the street. That is a Christian. So when somebody is praying, God is actually looking for people to uplift. But when he knows that your heart is disconnected from him, no matter what you say, he understands. So I am saying that this year, get set for great things. Israel came out of Egypt. After over 400 years, you know, of being serving the Egyptians. But do you know what the Lord God did? Before that thing, God told them, go to the gift and go and borrow whatever you want. Praise God. They will not say, ah, we are going to borrow. Ah, we are going. They began to empty the boxes of their trinkets. They are gold. They began to give the gift to, to, to the Israelites. They are, they are you know, every Everything that God treasure in Egypt, they were giving it to them. They were giving it to them. We had to for somebody here. All the labels that your parents they bought for, and they did not get the reward. You will receive the reward. I say in the name of Jesus, you will get the reward. There are some of us our parents are not alive, and they have done wonderfully well. You know. As human being, they fed the, our parents in those days. They don't cook only our food. Praise God. They will cook food in reserve, in paraventure. The friends of their children will come so that they will be what? Will be fed. That is good things. But they did not wait many times not to listen. Many of us have heard that they wanted to help people, to solve people's problems. They are so seed. You will harvest those seeds. Amen. You will harvest those fruits. Because there is no good deed that is waste. God is looking for somebody who will get the apple. That's what God says. Some people sow. And that says some people do not harvest. Shout hallelujah. So they
It is God that recovered the wasted years. He understands what, what to do. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. God knows what to do about your kids. And that's always God is. And that's why I got that song. And I want to cancel you this morning. All your self calculation enough. You have been calculating for a very long time. You have never hit this. You plan. When I do this, when I do that, when I move this way, when I do this, that is, you are the one that is crying. But when you learn to ask for God's mercy, I say, God, this is the one that is coming down. I am asking for you. Lord, intervene in my matters. Lord, give me supernatural accomplishments. That's supplication. And we talk about what? Another type of prayer that I said in the morning. Talk about prayer of what? Of intercession. Intercession is when you stand in the gap, you know, for people. And most of the time, you cannot go intercession if you don't bring doubts. You must pray more in the spirit when you are in the city. Our nation is intercession. Our nation is prayer. And the next one is prayers. And of course, that prayer is talking about general prayers of faith. Any situation that comes around, you want to, you know, attack in prayers, that provision says there are prayers. And of course, I dwell on the giving of thanks is a form of prayer. Amen. So you don't start giving of thanks as if uh, you can pray for the next time. Or after you have done that for the five ten minutes, now let's go into the prayer. What have you been doing before? That's the is a prayer. In fact, it's a powerful prayer. It's a prayer to show that God, I believe you, I trust you. For what you have done in yesteryear, for what you are doing presently, I know that you, that for the rest of the year and the rest of my life, you are committed to me.
special prayer that is that Christ has redeemed us from what? From the cost of the Lord. Let's pray the cost of us. For cost is everyone that is not going to do it. Through the blood of Jesus, we are delivered from stagnation. The way Israel was delivered from the stagnation, staying in the Egypt under servitude, now we are also delivered from every of stagnation. Whatever is holding you on the same spot from every of our mother, you look around all the time. By the blood of Jesus, you shall be delivered this morning. And the blood of God provides divine covering. And by the blood of Jesus is a means of warfare. We fight with the blood. When shall I plead the blood of Jesus? There must be a corresponding faith to what you are saying. Again, the kingdom of that rest, I plead the blood of Jesus. You don't open your eyes and you see what is going on. If you see what is going on in the kingdom of God, when you plead the blood of Jesus, there are great and terrible things happen. Because you cannot stand the blood. Hallelujah. Why? Because Revelation 12, 11 says, Revelation 12, 11 says, For we were king by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. We overcame. In this prayer, you will overcome. Over powers of darkness, you will overcome. Through the blood of Jesus. And by the words of your testimony. Shout hallelujah. I want us to pray this prayer because as I said, I just want to be made my points and I want us to shout right to pray. Hallelujah. Power of mighty in the Lord. And the devil made a mistake. 
the cremation in risk and altar. He was a heel where Jesus was crucified. And so that is the altar of the person of Calvary. And that altar is still at work till today. So when we stand here, that is what this altar represents. Somebody hear me? I want to present my father. Every covenant made in my foundation on my behalf. I cancel now by the blood of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray the blood of Jesus. Every covenant begin to cancel by the blood of Jesus. One is a pray. We are praying. Every covenant, every covenant that is made in my foundation in the name of Jesus, I cancel. Over my life, I cancel. Over my family, I cancel. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus, let us pray. Say every blood that has been shed in my lineage. Cry for vengeance. Cry for vengeance. Be silenced over my life by the blood of Jesus. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't my way, Jay. Don't take me a son. Come on, look at Oh, 
America is better than that of England, he will fight you. Because to him, I want to be a British colonized, their mind is colonized. Everything that is not British is fake. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And he will speak. If I God want to speak like the Queen of England, he will, he will change his position and will speak. He will tell you the story of England as if that he woke up with the Queen of England. But when they are talking about you, 
they don't know they have reported you to the wickedness. Hey, understand? Yes, sir. He can say, my, 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 my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law. If you see the way my daughter-in-law is doing, this and that, this and that, this and that. In fact, if you see what that, eh? Say, your daughter-in-law did that. Ah. Let us help you rebook or chastise her. Eh, you see how you see that? Eh, I don't want to share my food. My mind here, my mouth, I don't know. Not go 
hear not the voice of Judah. No wonder the voice of Judah never went down. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Because the voice of Judah is always being heard. It was Moses the servant that was prophetic prayer. Hear not the voice of Judah. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Now the Lord give up between his feet of his shiraka. Unto him shall the God of people be. Hallelujah. Oh, Zion, that bring a good tidings, will render them in the way. Lift, lift up your voice with strength. Oh, Jerusalem, that bring a good tidings. Lift up your voice. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father, from today, from today let my voice be heard. My voice will not fall to the ground. We are praying the name of Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord. We are praying prayer of supplication. Lord, hear my voice. In this fasting and prayer, hear my voice. All that I'm believing for God, hear my voice. Hear my voice. Let my voice be heard. Only God will do that. Yeah, I know. 
we are nursing fathers and nursing mothers. Say, my father, my father, bring me to my own people and send my people to me. Come to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not going to labor for nothing. Bring me to my people. Prepare for me in destiny and send my people to me. In the name of Jesus, send my people to me. In the name of Jesus, send my people to me. In the name of Jesus. Your hands shall be sufficient for you. Yeah. I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. Things that you do, okay. let his hands be what? Sufficient for you. Hallelujah. And the God calling. And it's your home you have to be there. It's your home you have to be there. It's your home you have to be there. Let it be Let it be sufficient. It is when it is sufficient, you will bless somebody else. He said, Judah, this is a blessing for Judah. Let the hands of Judah be sufficient for him. People may be crying here and there. You are going to say, My father, my father. Let my hand be sufficient for me. Give me breakthrough. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that I do, lay your hands on what I do. Prosper the work of my hands. That my hands be sufficient for me. My hands be sufficient for me. My hands be sufficient for me. Pray that prayer. In this time in Nigeria, let my hands be sufficient for me. Marabo, Sikrava, Shandalawa. Let my hands be sufficient for me. Let my hands be sufficient for me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Is that what you can pray? I will not, I will not pray for food. I will not pray for prayer. But let my hand be sufficient for me. Prosper the work of my hand. Let my hand be sufficient for me. Thank you. 